Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit more fun because I'm going to show you guys my planner lineup for 2019. Um, I'm going to be going into the new year with uh, quite a handful of planners. <laughs> um, but you know half of them or most of them are not really year specific. They're planners that I can use for next year and onwards like forever. And then I have my you know my core planners that are going to be used pretty much only for the year of 2019 unless I will have to end up repurposing them for something else so we'll just go ahead and get right into it so first up is none other than my Erin Condren deluxe monthly planner I'm going to be using this specific planner for budgeting purposes this would be my third um, deluxe monthly planner from Erin Condren that I use for budgeting um, and I'm really enjoying it. This is the 8.5 by 11. I have an unboxing video of this planner. I also have a setup series of how I set it up for my budget setup series. But since that series, there are some things that I added to it. Some being um, this extra notepad that I had from Erin Condren I ended up finding somewhere. And I just uh, used the adhesive on the back of the notepad to stick it onto the dashboard. So basically what I'm going to use this is for rough drafting my budget. So before I set up my budgets and really like put in all the estimates and all that stuff, I write it down on scrap paper first. And then, you know, I finalize it <laughs> with a whole setup um, in my planner. But this is the notepad that I'm going to be using to be writing down paycheck to paycheck budgets and really like doing the more strategical part of budgeting, not just the decorative side. So that's what this notepad is for. And also in this planner, I added these envelopes now originally my purpose with using with doing this idea was to keep my receipts here but as you can see like the receipts made the planner like so much more thicker so I'm not I'm not completely sure if that is something I'm going to stay with I might just end up ripping these pages out but honestly I haven't really been buying a lot lately and you know when I do half of the time it's online anyway so I don't always have like a physical receipt so I might still keep that idea I might not but that is just something that I changed in this planner and I also decided to add um, the Erin Condren pen pen holder adhesive so I decided to add that into my planner and it is looking <laughs> extremely thick. I think it's more the notepad that makes it thick, but I I like the idea of having that because, you know, I do. I do um, do a lot of rough draft budgets and normally I just use like some random notebooks lying around. But at least with having it in a notepad, you know, it's always accessible and always, you know, in the same spot when I need it. So yes, this is the planner I will be using for budgeting. Looking forward to another 12 months in this planner. So excited about using that. And next, the second planner in my core, you know, my year specific lineup <laughs> is my art editorial planner. Um, which is basically a business planner, but I like calling it an art planner. <laughs> this is also an Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly in the 8.5 by 11 size. Um, I should also mention that these two planners were Franken plans, so these two pages have, you know, added customizations that you won't get in the regular. Um, you know, if you buy it regularly, I spend a lot of time just customizing these planners. But when you open it up, I have a um, more detailed blog post on how I set up this planner on my blog. So if you're interested in that, uh, be sure to check that out. I'll have the link in the description box below. But this is just kind of how I decorated my name page with my logo for YouTube and my logo for my blog. So that's how I'll be using that. And then... Um, Still, I'm still kind of thinking of a way to use the year at a glance. Um, the 12 boxes I'm going to use as a kind of inspirational center. So it's just my who, what, where, and why 
sections just some little things that will help inspire me either creatively logically or emotionally um people i just like to listen to like while i'm working or people who inspire me to work or just things like that um here i have my january statistics page um i got a lot of these ideas from romina plans or Romina Vasquez, I'm not sure what her YouTube channel is, but I was watching her um, social media planner setup, and I really liked um, the way she kept track of like the total watch time and her top five videos for the month. So I decided to incorporate it, incorporate that, plus my start and ending subscribers, the number of videos I posted, and then I wanted to keep track of like my average view duration the total views for the months and the comments that I had for that month. Um, I also created a section for my blog, Crazy Colorful Plans, um, because the type of traffic that you get to your blog is very important to track, at least for me it is. So I track um, my start and end for my email newsletters, um, the total page views that I have for that month, as well as the number of blog posts that I posted, the number of visitors I had, um, organic traffic compared to direct traffic, my sessions, bounce rate, um, social uh, social traffic, referral traffic, um, session duration, and time on page. Then I also record the top five posts that were viewed and how many views for that month. <clears throat> and then in my other things section, I include all of my income, which would be from like my blog and also any local and freelancing work that I do. That's basically all for income. And I also might put a section here for goals, like monthly goals as well. Um, my monthly calendar, I'm actually not going to show you because it's full of like ideas that I want, that I've already written down because I planned for my content like at least a month in advance. So I have ideas there that have not yet been published and I want that, you know, I like to surprise you guys. But if you guys are interested in seeing the way I have set it up, again, I did um, describe how I was doing that in my blog post. So be sure to check that out. On this page, um, it's my master task list and my master text task dashboard so if you guys stuck around for my budget setup series then you saw when I set up my notes pages um, and you also saw when I set up my small steps dashboard and how I was going to use that in accordance with making my goals in 2019 so that's generally the same concept I'm going to use here I'm just going to write down my big goals that I want to accomplish within the month and I'm going to use this as a dashboard for post-its and sticky notes um, to be able to um, separate it into manageable sections so that I can make it easier to take action. So that is how I'm going to use that and I just have my little characters that I printed out and stuck on the page. Um, this next page is like my video tracker. This was uh, partly inspired by Sarah Marie. Um, she does her, you or she used to do her YouTube video tracking this way. But I'm also tracking my blog posts and other things which would be like digital art. If I do sticker kits, animations, and local projects. Um, um, my research and resources page is basically where I do any kind of research or come across resources that I want to keep track of. Then I have my brainstorm page where I just write down ideas all over the place, whatever I come up with. And then I um, Frankenplan. I know part of that was setting up these dot grid pages in my planner. I added about five pages in each section and what I'm going to use this for is just drawing visual concepts you know planning out color schemes or what have you and just you know sketches and all that stuff so that's what these pages are for and then lastly I have my significant moments page with my character again <laughs> um, and this is just a section of not just achievements but just things I really love personally about what I did for my business so if there was like a certain video that I loved that probably didn't get a lot of views I'll write it here if there was um, something personal that happened that just motivates me to want to stick with my business I would write about that stuff here because you know I know with pertaining to a business you have to be on top of trends and what people want but I at, on the same token 
you know, I still have to love it too. So I want to make sure that there's always something I love about what I'm doing and I'm not just like doing it just to like, you know, go with go in the motion or whatever that's just like a page to keep me from burning out <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying so that's how I'm doing that um then in my notes pages uh I don't know if I can show you too much I haven't really finished setting up my notes pages yet so I assume you know, if you guys want to see the rest of the setup when I get done with it, I'll come back and do a video for that. So that is my second year-specific planner. I think I have about six year-specific planners, so let us keep going. Next up is my Erin Condren Vertical Hardbound Planner. This was purchased out of Staples. Um, I think I mentioned it was undated. And I did a review on this, sort of, in my haul recently. And this planner I'm just going to use as my, um, my catch-all planner. Now, um, part of the reason why, part of the reason why these, um, planners didn't work for me is because I, it's, it's hard for me to plan daily because there are days where, you know, I don't do anything and I don't like planning for, you know, a whole entire day and then not doing anything listed on that day. It just, it makes me feel unaccomplished, you know, unfulfilled and it just, it makes me not want to use it. So that's why in this planner, this was my most used hardbound planner, but it still, you know, lacked a little bit. But towards the end of the year, I figured out a way to use this planner that I've actually really been enjoying using this. Um, because what I realized is that I actually have a lot of planners, as you're going to see in this lineup. <laughs> I have a lot of planners designated for separate areas in my life, but I don't have a planner that helps combine them, you know, make them collective and work together. So... Um, originally I was thinking about making like a laminated dashboard and I still might do that if this idea does not work but luckily this is undated so even if it doesn't work I'm you know I'm not really wasting anything but I say all that to say um, okay so this is a pretty good idea of how I'm going to be using my to-do list planner um, Basically, the, the last two rows are not date specific. Now, the only, the only date specific area is the top row. This row is where I write down things that need to be done on or by a specific day. So this is for like deadlines, appointments, events, anything of that nature that would be like, you need to be here Saturday at 10, you know, on the 8th. You need to finish this by Wednesday, anything like that goes in the top area generally I don't have a lot of you know time specific things that I need to do I don't have a lot of appointments most of my to do's and tasks are things that just need to be done within the week or be done within the month so having this little space is enough for me to like just write down whatever appointments I need to write down so that I can use the rest of this just to plot out my entire to-do list now my my to-do list isn't generally that big either because usually what i do is takes up a lot of time so the second row is dedicated to just specific um projects so i don't always have a box for youtube videos that i want to finish and i always have a um, box for blog posts that i want to finish or write or rough draft or what have you um, I've also started incorporating some things that I want to finish for my shop um, on, on my blog. And then I have one for my animation that I want to finish, or that I'm working on. This was another project that I'm doing separate from like YouTube and blogging and all that stuff. And then just two extra boxes if there's something else um, 
that I want to be working on within the week. The last week is just a compilation, just a combination of everything. So here is where I write down everything that I need to do for these projects, make sure that I'm keeping up with these deadlines. Um, I write down my planner check-ins. Like normally, like the last two box, it will have like a planner check-in. And I write down the planners that I want to check in within this week. If it's, if it's like a day specific, like if the week is getting ready to end, like say, say we were on this week, January starts on Tuesday. So I want to check in with all my planners by the 31st. So I would write this, um, my planner check-ins in the date specific row because I want to check, you know, my budget planner, my art planner, my whatever planner before the new month begins. Other than that, if it's just like, you know, set up your planner for the next week, I would write it down here. So that's kind of how I do. And then on this side, I just write down like some different habits I want to work on throughout the week, like a habit tracker. So this would be like crocheting my blanket every day, how often I do that, um, practicing my lettering and my planner uh, working on my animations just practicing drawing and things of that nature so that is how I'm using it the only section I'm using for day specific tasks is up here second row is for projects uh, big projects that I'm working on in the week and then the last row is just all my to-do lists compounded together so that's how I'm using that or at least that's how I'll be using this planner that is what it's in for. Um, I haven't set up any notes pages yet. There isn't really a ton of notes pages. Um, but yeah, looking forward to using this planner. This is my third year specific planner. Next, we have my wellness planner. So this is my first Erin <laughs> Condren Life Planner. Um, this is the colorful version. Um, it's got... It's got more than 12 months because it's got November and December, so it's like a 14-month planner. Um, I've really already started using it. Uh, for this planner specifically, haven't come up with an idea. Well, I do have an idea, but I'm still working on it, so I'm not claiming that yet. But how I'm going to be using this planner is for my wellness my wellness planner so this is the planner i'm using to track you know self-care taking care of myself and all that jazz so basically um <laughs> this is how i set up my monthly i was so excited about that that i'm also using it for like tracking my hair care and skin care routine things of that nature and on my weekly spreads this is where i just um I use it kind of like a habit tracking planner so I use it to track like how often I eat because um, I usually only eat like once a day and it's normally at night and I need to like snap out of that um, but everything is color coded I have a <laughs> I have a, um, a color key in my notebook that is not with me right now. I'm going to eventually make it into a bookmark so I don't have to keep running to check that. But basically, I track my meals. The gray heart would be for like vitamins and supplements. Um, I track out any workouts or any exercise that I do um, that day. I also track my water intake. One heart would equal like one water bottle, like one of those plastic water bottles you get out of the grocery store. So as long as I drink four of those, I consider that I've drunk, um, I've had eight cups of water a day. The extra five is just for like my weight. You know, I think you drink like half your body weight in water. Personal is for things like lotioning, um, arching eyebrows, dressing up, putting on makeup. I, might, I, I kind of forgot what they are. But um, that's like personal self-care and all that stuff. Actual self-care is things that I did you know to get out of the house so I have one for going outside um, I think I have one for like watching a movie um, taking a, um, a drive like a long drive because I like to do that to de-stress um, I kind of forgot what they were cooking is another form of self-care that I want to do more of and all of that <clears throat> 
household would be like different areas that I need to clean up. So I have like my bedroom, bathroom, uh, kitchen, my office, vacuuming, laundry, trash, mail, and things of that nature. Emotions consist of happy, okay, I believe that's sick, sore, and depressed, or sore, sick, and depressed, I'm <laughs> not sure, but it, it's overall a habit tracker. They're all the same all throughout the week, and I've been, I've been using it thus far. I really like using it, and then like in the last, uh, last row, I just write down little me time events or things that I did for myself that I felt good, that made me feel good, and feel relaxed, and feel rejuvenated and recharged. But um, as you can see, I've already like um, decorated this planner. I really like um, setting this planner up. I've used some washi, some leftover stickers from different sticker kits. Because I have the life planner, I've also been playing with um, <laughs> different sticker kits. So this was a printable kit that I got from, I do not remember the name of the website. But I purchased from them and I just printed it on my own glossy paper and I cut it using my uh, silhouette portrait too. And that's how that turned out. And I did it specifically because I wanted to see if I can could um, uh, plan my habits around it without like intruding and taking too much space and I was able to I got like my meals my water my personal household and emotions within the day and then on the sidebar I just um tried, had a Monday through Sunday box for workouts and then I used a heart checklist to track my self-care and just wrote out like each day of the week and you know if I do anything for self-care I'll just cross it out so I did that. <laughs> I also did this. Um, this was a sticker kit that I hauled in my Black Friday haul video. So I made it a little more cohesive and just mapped it out a little bit more. And that was that's all I've done so far. But that's really how I intend to use this. Um, this plan, I have not set up any notes pages either. Um, I kind of just got it at the time of filming this video. So yeah, I'll probably post like finished videos, well finished videos, finished pictures on my Instagram. So be sure to follow my Instagram if you want to see more of that. Alright, fifth one is going to be my faith planner. I'm, I'm still kind of thinking about how I want to use that. I know I wanted to have this for 2019 um, because I want to do more... I want to do better at uh, scripture reading and studying and all that good stuff. And besides, this planner was just so beautiful too. So <laughs> I'm still thinking about ways I want to um, do this. Maybe like in the monthly, I'm thinking about writing like um, writing in the different chapters that I read, and possibly in the weekly, I either want to like you know elaborate on the scripture reading that I've done for the day or I just want to write like my personal thoughts you know kind of journal my thoughts about uh, spirituality and all that stuff I'm still not sure I don't know if I explained like with the other two but a lot of these planners are going to be stay at home like generally none of them are going to be bring with me planners um this one will be with this planner so these two planners so far are more my business planners so they'll stay on my desk you know where I do most of my work this planner will be mostly by my bedside as well as this planner I haven't figured out where my budget planner is going to be but we'll get to that <laughs> we'll get to that and my last year specific planner is my mini happy planner. This is the planner I'm going to be using for gratitude journaling. So I got this idea from uh, Heather Kell. Um, I really like the way she set up her planner. But I think what I'm going to do is just like use my Tombow dual brush markers, like some lighter colors, and just write in like the word, like write in a word or something that I'm grateful for. Or, that I want to elaborate on for that day and then like with a gel pen or something I'll just like write or journal in my thoughts for that day so that's kind of how I wanted to use that really nothing special 
And this was another planner that I was going to keep by my bedside. So I just pull that out like every night along with my wellness planner. And I just, you know, check in with myself. So as far as <laughs> as far as planners that I'm going to use specifically for 2019, this is my setup. So this is my budget planner. This is my art planner. This is my daily catch-all planner. This is my faith planner. This is my wellness planner and my gratitude planner. So these are planners specifically for 2019. If that's all you wanted to see, goodbye. But uh, for those who want to see my entire planner system, stick around. All right, you guys, so. What are my other planners that I'm going to be using for 2019 and beyond? Well, uh, one of them, or two of them, will be my Erin Condren Heartbound Planners from the year 2018. These are planners that I'm going to repurpose for the sole purpose. I'm going to repurpose them into using my outline planners. Um, I have a video showing on how I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, just to keep all my ideas, I have more than enough empty blank weeks to generate a ton of ideas, and I have two nearly empty books, so these books shall be used well, um, and fully, so I'm just going to use them to, uh, create outlines and rough structures for different blog posts, different video ideas, different animation ideas, just different ideas and stuff um <clears throat> that's how i'm going to be using that and i have two of them really three of them because i also have a few blank weeklies in this planner as well but this has been the most used um hardbound planner so it doesn't have that many empty pages whereas these are fairly brand new books <laughs> so that's how I'm going to be using all three of my 2017 to 2018 Erin Condren hardbound planners I also have another planner that I'm repurposing from Erin Condren can you tell I love <laughs> I love Erin Condren products like I'm pretty sure 80% of this video is all of her products <laughs> but um I'm going to be using my uh, 2018 smaller hardbound planner. How I'm going to be using this is as my lettering planner. Um, I was using, I was trying to use this in so many different ways, but the way that I settled on it most um, was to just practice lettering. So. And actually, I've been using this like already, and I've, I feel like my calligraphy is getting a little bit better. So that's how I'm going to be using that. I'm just, I just uh, write over the days, like what day I'm on when I'm practicing. And yeah, so this planner will be purpose. I mean, because it's so pretty. I just, I can't let it go unused, you guys. I can't let it go another year being unused. So that's how I'm using my Erin Condren, um, small horizontal hardbound planner i'm using this as my lettering practice planner i have a bullet journal um that i was going to use you know as a regular bullet journal but here lately i have turned it into my animation like storyboard planner i guess i can show you because i'm not doing this animation anymore but i just um do like rough rough sketches of the animations that I want to do this is how I generally plan out any of my story like um, things and then I go in and like finalize it and turn it into art and turn it into some kind of story time but this is how I'm going to be using that planner this is a Lamone bullet journal that I got off of Amazon that's how I'm going to be using that I also have another 
Erin Condren product. This is a hardbound notebook that I have had um, for a while now. I've been using this as my script planner. So if I'm writing scripts for animations, if I'm writing scripts for comics, or just songs or story ideas or whatever I'm doing, I will be using this notebook. I also have another um, notebook that I'm going to use for this. Um, I Obviously, I know I don't have to use these hardbound notebooks for script writing, but since I have them around, this is uh, how I'm going to use that. So yes, this is going to be my script writing planner. Um, then I have one of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite ideas. Um, this was a, this is a, another Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly. I got this planner again for the idea of doing sticker kits. I'm just not going to do sticker kits unless it's like something I'm doing in my planner because I'm just... I guess I'm not into doing <laughs> sticker kits just consistently. I like doing them to add to whatever I'm doing, but I don't like doing them just to do it. But uh, this is going to be my recipe planner. Um, this is also something I did a blog post on, but I can show you guys like how I'm using it. How I've been using it. So in my 12 boxes page, I keep... The top row would be like the conversion chart. The second row is like food pyramid um, tips and all that stuff. And then the last box is going to be like for tips, like maybe tips I get from the family. But this isn't just going to be like a recipe book. I want this to be like, um, like a complete family recipe book. But that is how I'm going to... Um, use this planner so I came up with the idea well at least how I'm going to customize it I made these little um these little labels in these little labels in Adobe Illustrator um and I color coded them to represent like different types of meals so I made a table of contents in the notes pages let me get to it. Okay, so the notes pages are color coordinated to the different labels. So orange would be for breakfast, green would be for lunches, blue would be for dinners, purple would be for appetizers, red would be for drinks, pink would be for desserts, um, tan would be for snacks, and I think that's all I had so far. I might add more in the future. And then, um, with that being color coded, when you use these labels, that's how you'll be able to tell like what's what. So if it's red, it would be a drink. If it's pink, it would be a dessert, you know, orange, breakfast, purple, appetizers. You get the gist. So, <laughs> opening it up, I have decided to make it into a little recipe planner, like a legit recipe planner. So, um, I like the idea um, the washi strips are pretty specific too. I'm going to have to write that down in the notes pages. But um, if it's washi taped across the top, that means a recipe is underneath it. So it's two recipes on that. But if a recipe is taped on the side, that means it's a long recipe. So if it's taped along the side, like vertically, that means it's an extension so it's a longer recipe and you know you might need extra stuff but if it's taped across the top that means there's a recipe underneath it so it's two recipes so that's how I wanted to use that and I really wanted this to be like like a real combination of all the recipes in the family that could just get passed down through the generations and all that stuff you know when kids 25 and 50 years down the line look at this planner they'll probably be like wow she had way too much time on her hands but <laughs> hopefully they won't say that hopefully they'll appreciate these things but that's just something that I wanted to do I got my parents in on it and they really like this idea so that is how we're going to be using this planner and since it's like a family thing, you know, if they come up with ideas, they'll probably implement some ideas too. But yeah, that's going to be the recipe plan. Last but not least is my trusty Kate Spade Wellesley planner. We are not going into 2019 without this little planner. 
I don't know if I have personal information. Let me check. <laughs> but, um, take some receipts out. But, yeah, this is going to be my planner wallet. So, this is where I'm going to house all my cash envelopes forever. Um, I might make some new ones. I kind of want to make some new ones. But, this is going to be my cash envelopes. Of all the planners here, this is the only planner that ever really leaves the house with me. So, because of that, even though my to-do planner is left at home, this is what this little booklet is for um and i probably want to remake it but this is where i keep like my this is where i'm going to keep like my checklist and to-do list like if i leave the house and there's something that i need to remember to get i'll write it down in this little booklet i'll probably make another one when i redo the cash envelope and then i have my change purse back here that's full of change that i need to empty and put into a change jar but yeah that's going to be my planner wallet i love this planner. i've had this planner for over a year and i still don't want to give it up the only reason i would ever switch a different to a different planner wallet is to get another color of this planner <laughs> i love this planner so much um all right guys so this is going to be my setup for 2019 so i have 12 planners in all budget planner an art planner a brain planner or my to-do list planner my faith planner wellness planner gratitude planner planner wallet script planner storyboard planner lettering planner recipe planner outline planners we've got planners for days um so we are going that's it that's it that's all i have um the good thing about it is that really at least all of my ongoing planners are just repurposed planners that would have otherwise been just sitting on the shelf so at least they all have like they're all serving a purpose you know they all have something to contribute for the new year so that's it um what are you guys doing for 2019 uh what's your planner setup looking like leave in the comments below because i'm really interested to you know to hear your ideas um but with that i want to thank you guys for stopping by i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and the whole entire year 2019 hope it's full of positivity great opportunities and just wonderful goodness for all all right so so with that um you guys enjoy the rest of your day if you're ever interested in checking out any more of my planner or art antics um be sure to check out my blog crazycolorfulplans.com it's always linked in the description box below as well as all my social media accounts my instagram my pinterest page and my twitter account if you guys would like to follow me there as well um but yeah see you in my next video bye Hi there, I'm Miss Crazy and thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're sticking around, go ahead and check out these other awesome videos just to see what I'm all about. But with that, you guys enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.